What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you on how to create a beautiful tropical island. It's gonna be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to learn how to make an FPS shooter in Unreal Engine 5 with all the mechanics you need in only one week. And if you use the coupon code GORKA GAMES in all caps, you get 20% off. So check it out through the link in the description. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is enable the water plugin so we can add our ocean. So let's go up into edit, go into plugins and search for water. And let's go ahead and enable this one, which is in experimental, but it will be great for us. So you say yes. And now we just have to click this restart button at the bottom right. So let's go ahead and wait a few seconds. All right, so my project has restarted. As so you can see, we have like an error. The only thing I have to do is click this add entry to default engine. This is just, you know, adding some collision profiles into the game settings. Don't worry about that, about the water. So just close this, close this, and now we have the plugin enabled. So let's go ahead and create a new level. So let's go up here, file, new level, basic, create. Let's select our floor and just delete this. And let's go up here into the selection mode and change it to be our landscape mode. So now we can go ahead and just make a quick landscape. Uh, the default settings will work for me, but the only thing you have to make sure is that enable edit layers is ticked because um, the water will create new layers and we need that to be ticked on. Okay, very important. Uh, now we're going to be creating a very small island. Okay, literally super small. So, you know, this values work great for me. So you say create. So wait a few seconds. There we go. We have our island over here. So let's go back into selection mode and let's add our ocean. So let's go into the quickly add to the price section, go into all classes and let's put our mouse over this list and you start typing water. And now you can see that we have a few options. The one that we want is water body ocean. So go ahead and just drag it into our level and just release it. And now you can see it will create some splines and it is compiling some shaders and some moments. There we go. We have our ocean looking beautiful as you can see over here. So let's go ahead and just select these splines and maybe, you know, make them a bit more uh, smaller, a bit more interesting. So what we can do is go ahead and just hold out and this will create a new point. And I can just go ahead and make a bit more, uh, you know, more interesting shape, let's say. Once again, like this, you can play around with that. But basically going to be making a pretty basic small island, like so. There we go. And then I think that this will work great for me. Another thing that I like to do is go into the water body ocean, go a bit down and go into the uh, water high mat settings, go into the um, effects, go into core noise and add some cool noise. So for example, but no, <laughs> it's very big. Uh, so maybe we put like one so you can see they will start to, you know, kind of make some things on the borders. So you can experiment with that. Maybe like point two will work a bit better. You can see zero is like very straight and point two will add some curves, which will make it a bit more natural, which I quite like. Um, so maybe, maybe a bit less, you know, um, so you can experiment with that as you want. So maybe point one. Yeah, I think point one will work great for me. So make sure to save the level, contrast shift S, go ahead and save it. And it's going to be our island and now we can go ahead and save and let's go back into the landscape mode and what we can do is select the layer which i'm going to rename it to be main okay and now we can go ahead and paint a bit you know to just give it a bit more shape so let's go ahead and make the tool strength smaller the bar size a bit smaller and it starts painting you know to make our island a bit more interesting okay because it's a bit too basic and because it's very small we can just go ahead and hand paint you know just add some kind of bumps okay a simple bumps and then we can just go ahead and just use the smooth tool to smooth out what we have just done and we just create a better environment over here there we go i like that so much more great there we go okay and as you can see we have another thing that you know maybe we need to tune in and it's the uh kind of the transition from our water uh, slope beach thing into our main island so let's go ahead and touch a bit that so it's a bit smoother and it's not so harsh so what we're going to do is go into the water body ocean once again and this time what we're going to do is go into the follow-up settings and here we're going to go ahead and play around all of this for example we can go ahead and change the follow-up angle to be instead of 45 10 as you can see now it will pretty much get the whole island we can go ahead and make this 70 and it will be more you know basically more steep uh, so we can play around with that uh, 45 was pretty good um, and you can also put 90 as you can see we'll create like a 
can kind of run for a while. Uh, but I think that 45 will, uh, well, maybe 50 will work great for me. Uh, we can put some edge offsets. You can see this 2000. If I were to put a one, uh, there's some, you know, transitioning changes. If I were to put this on 5000, so you can see now it is more transition, but of course it starts over here instead of down here. So if I were to, you know, put this at zero, uh, you can see, or minus a hundred, for example, or minus a thousand, basically, I can start to put this transitioning way back. Okay. And for example, I could put this to minus 3000 maybe, and it will be more into the offset. And I, I kind of like that, but of course it's more into there. So maybe you can put it even more like maybe minus 5,000, but this will start to filling the, the terrain, which is now we want. So let's go ahead and just find maybe an intermediate point, uh, maybe minus a thousand, right? I like that. Okay. Then the Z offset is how much it will go up or down. So we can lower this and now, yes, it will start to get the level that we want. And now, yes, we have a smooth transition from our uh, beach landscape and water plugin thing into our main landscape, which is very important to make it look nice. Okay, let's go ahead and import our sand texture or material, however you want to call it, because right now it is very plain. So we're going to be importing it from Quixel Bridge. So let's go up here into Window and you select Quixel Bridge over here. Okay, so I am going to be using this bright desert sand. You can go ahead and search it in Google Beach. Just get the gold that you want, download it, and now we can go ahead and add it into the price. Let's go ahead and click this button to do so. Okay, so there we go. The material has imported. So now let's go ahead and select our landscape. Let's go into the landscape material and just drag it over here. And now it will be applied in our landscape. As you can see, it looks absolutely amazing. And if for some reason, you know, the landscape doesn't, the material doesn't apply to the landscape, uh, and you have like in child tiles, you select all the uh, child tiles and just assign them individually, okay? But this should work for you. Okay, so let's make it a bit bigger, the tiling, because it's very small. As you can see, you have to really zoom in to see the things. So let's go ahead and open this up, go into tiling, and then in uh, X, put it up 0.3 and Y 0.3. And this will just enlarge the texture. And now we can appreciate the details that we go from more further away. And also, the coastline looks so much cooler, more tropical, more, you know, kind of Maldives style. You know, you know what I mean? That it looks way cooler. So there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and start to add our vegetation into our little island over here. So uh, I will be using this free asset pack from the marketplace. I will be linking it in the description. It's called the Tropical Vegetation Banana something else. <laughs> okay, so I will be linking in the description. It's totally free. Just click add to the product and I'll just go ahead and you search for my tropical island. We go select the make you don't see you say show all price. Okay. And then select it. And then uh, the thing is that it's not compatible with the latest version, but it doesn't matter. You uh, put the one that is uh, like for example five one which is the latest one that this pack supports it and it will automatically convert it so you say add to bread and now we just have to wait a few seconds or even minutes depending on your hardware internet whatever right until this imports so let's go ahead and wait a bit okay so the pack has imported as you can see we have a new folder here called pm banana let's go ahead and open this and just entering meshes and we can see that we have here plans and we have all the you know cool plans over here let's go ahead and open this up please load quickly there we go um so let's go ahead and use pcg the new procedural plugin to just randomly spawn them around our island so first of all you need to you know enable the plugin so let's go up here into edit go into plugins search for procedural and now you see this procedural content generation framework so click this enable this and just click restart now and wait a few seconds all right so let's go back into our island level and now what we're going to do is don't worry about the uh, water is compiling shaders. There we go. Uh, just right click in the content browser, go into PCG, which will be a new section, and just create the PCG graph. Let's call this PCG underscore, you know, use vegetation in general. And what I'm going to do is open this up. So as you can see, we're going to start to place things over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is get our landscape data and you sample the use the surface sampler to just sample some points in our level if i press d to debug it okay and i just drag it into my level as you can see it will just pick some random points 
in our terrain or landscape, or you want to call it, in the surface, and put some points. Uh, so let's go ahead and make this a bit more interesting. Just get the transform points node and just add some random rotation and stuff. So a rotation min is that it can be zero and a max it can be 360. As you can see now, each one will be, uh, well, that didn't work because we have to uh, stop debugging this one. So you just press D and now debug the latest node. As you can see now, they are facing in random uh, orientations. In scale minimum, let's put this to be maybe 0.8, maximum point, 1.2. So random scaling. Uh, the same in rotation uh, in the other points. Maybe this can be, you know, minus 10, you know, minus 10, and then 10, and 10. And it will add some, uh, a bit of um, kind of slopes into it. Okay, so with that said, we can start to add our static meshes. So use the static mesh spawner node. Uh, stop debugging this one, Let's press D. And now in our static mesh spawner, we can start to add some entries, which are basically uh, static meshes. So just hold control space. We can open our uh, content browser and you search in plans. We can also have props, but you know, go into plans and you start to add some of them. So for example, we're going to add this one over here and then add another entry. And now open this again, add this one, for example, add another entry. And then add, for example, this one. And the more you do in different variations, the better it's gonna look because it's not, it will be very repetitive, okay? Um, and then add a new one, and it'll be this one, for example, okay? Kinda like this. So now I can save, go to Shift S to save everything. As you can see, now we have the plans here. They're starting to appear. As you can see, they are very small indeed. Um, some of them should be way bigger. So I'm going to do, is in the transform points for the scale minimum to be from 1.5 to uh, 2.3 and this will make them way bigger which i like them to be bigger as you can see they start to look way better and more interesting so let's go ahead and make sure that this will fill our whole island so let's select the pcg graph and you put this in the zero zero like so and i just expand this so lock the scale and put this made to be 70 i don't know this will fill in the whole island but let's try that out sorry 17 not zero <laughs> uh okay that that messed everything up 17 and then 20. okay should be a bit bigger so let's put this to be maybe 120. yes that's better okay so as you can see this will just add a lot of different plants and vegetation into our island but they don't look very good they're you know just in a square <laughs> in a box square in the whole island so what we're going to do is apply the elevation the, the basically the um, uh, the height so they won't appear in the coastline only in the inner part of our island so let's go up here and before we do uh, transform the points and everything, we're gonna apply this new node, which is the uh, point filter, okay? Let's go ahead and use uh, hold out, delete this, and type in the inside filter. So basically, we're gonna apply an operator here. This will be if the height is bigger, so it'll be the bigger sign. And let's add here a position, and just add a point Z over here. So we are accessing the height because Z is the vertical uh, axis. So let's go ahead and enable the constant threshold. And now we can do split this to be float. And we can put if the height is higher than 200, for example. As you can see now, it will only appear in the inner part of our island, which is exactly what we want. And we can go ahead and experiment a bit more, maybe 120 instead of you know 200. So there are a bit more, as you can see, and it starts to look way nicer and honestly pretty pretty cool so you can play with that okay as you know and uh, let's, let's go ahead and also apply some grass inside because it is a bit too plain now i believe that we don't have any grass in this asset pack as you can see so we'll have to import it once again from quicksil bridge so let's go ahead and do so go up window quicksil bridge i am going to be choosing this wild grass so again you can go ahead and search it and then you just go ahead and select the quality, download it, and I'll just click this add button so it will be added into the price. So let's go ahead and do so.
There we go, as you can see I have it here, so wild grass. So what I am going to do is go into vegetation and just go ahead and copy all of this except the static mesh spawner and paste it over here. And basically we're going to create another layer of, you know, use points. And we're going to go ahead and just select the surface sampler and just change the seed so it will be different. Okay, it doesn't really matter then, just change it, okay? And now we're going to add another uh, static mesh spawner node, okay? And now what we can do is start to add our grass over here. So in this case, let's search for grass and we can select the first one, for example, and let's add another entry. Let's add another grass. Let's add, for example, the second one, you know, uh, and let's add another one. And let's add, for example, the uh, third one. So it doesn't really matter. And now you can see that we have grass. It's very small, so I'm going to make it a bit bigger. So transform points. I'm gonna make it from 2.5 to uh, 3.2, okay? Uh, now it's a bit bigger. I'm gonna make uh, this, you know, more dense, let's say, because of course they're not a lot. So, uh, what I'm going to do is first of all, in the point filter, put this to be maybe at, you know, 70. So we have a bit of grass more in the, okay, that's maybe too much, maybe uh, 100 is better. Um, so we have a bit, okay. Yeah, maybe 120 is okay. Uh, so, you know, a bit less, so they're more in the coast, but not so much. Okay, as you can see, now we have a whole bunch of grass, but let's add more and let's do it manually to have a bit more control, you know? So let's go into the uh, foliage painter. Now we can select some of the wild grass, just enable it, and now it's paint, so, you know, like this. Uh, of course, they're very small, so again, I'm going to pop up the parameters here, which is between 2.5 to 3.2. Select everything and go into the scaling 2.5, 3.2. And now we can go ahead and start painting, and I'll have a whole bunch more of grass. So let's go ahead and increase the brush size and let's start painting like crazy. Okay, and grass adds so much, man. Like, really it does okay i know i'm gonna be crazy right now grass but it really does add into the level as you can see you know uh so the more grass you add the better now let's go ahead and just make sure to delete a bit you know you cannot just randomly do to make some noise and more you know make it more irregular kind of okay let's go ahead and do so like i saw the border especially add a bit more there we go add a bit there we go and it makes it much better as you can see great so as you can see our tropic island is already you know shaping to be pretty pretty cool we can go ahead and change a bit the sun orientation so it's more on this side like so there we go looking really really cool and of course if we go to the other side it looks even cooler and we can go ahead and you know, spawn our character third person character and just run around and you can see the frame rate is really good I mean, though we are not even using nanite, but you can play with that. Uh, you can play with the collisions of the trees and so on. But overall, I really like how it is going ahead and looking. So that's it, guys. If you found this so helpful, I would really appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. A lot of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials, so go ahead and check them out. The Grab files will be in my Patreon and YouTube members. Of course, we have the asset pack because I cannot really distribute that. Uh, check out the FPS course in the description. Absolutely amazing by Virtus Learning Hub. Uh, join my Discord server, follow me on my socials, and now yes, well I said, bye bye.